What's up everyone, welcome back, Patrick here. And in this video, we're gonna go through another word problem dealing with quadratics. So we're told that in a right triangle, the hypotenuse is three centimeters less than double the shortest leg. And then we're also told that the longest leg is 17 centimeters more than the shortest leg. And what we gotta do is find the dimensions of the right triangle. Now, if you remember, whenever you're dealing with a right triangle, if you label the two legs as A and B, and then you label the hypotenuse as C, the Pythagoras theorem holds, meaning that A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Now, if you read the paragraph carefully, you'll notice that the hypotenuse is described in terms of the shortest leg, and then the longest leg is also described in terms of the shortest leg. And so because the shortest leg is the common variable, quote unquote, between the two descriptions, let's introduce a variable and we'll let x equal the length of the shortest leg. And if you notice in the diagram, the shortest leg is the b value. So we'll let that side be the x value. And then notice that the hypotenuse we're told is three centimeters less than double the shortest leg. So if we take that shortest leg, which is the x value, and we double it, so we end up with two x, three less than that is gonna be the hypotenuse. So we can describe the hypotenuse as an expression being two x minus three. And then finally, the other leg, the longest leg, we're told that it's 17 centimeters more than the shortest leg. So we know that the expression for that is going to be x plus 17. And now notice that we could take these new expressions that we have and then plug it into that Pythagoras theorem formula. So for the a value, notice that we could plug in the x plus 17. So that would go in brackets and then we would be squaring it. And then the b value is the shortest leg, so it's just the x value, so we end up with x squared. And then the hypotenuse is the c value, which is 2x minus 3, so we end up with 2x minus 3 squared. And so now, notice that we're dealing with an equation where we have to solve for the x value. So what we could do is we could expand everything, bring it over to one side. So if we take the x plus 17 squared and we expand that, we end up with x squared plus 17x plus 17x plus 289 then we still have that plus x squared. And then on the right side of the equal sign, the 2x minus 3 squared, that expands into 4x squared minus 6x minus 6x plus 9. So then if we simplify some like terms on the left side and the right side, so we end up the 2x squared would end up being 2x squared, 17x plus 17x would give us 34x, then we still have that 289. On the right side, we end up with 4x squared, and then the negative 6x minus 6x, those simplify to negative 12x, and then we have the plus 9. Now, if you notice, on the right side, the leading coefficient is 4, and on the left side, the leading coefficient is 2. And so, personally, what I like to do is bring it to the side where the leading coefficient is going to be positive. It doesn't really matter which side you bring it to, you're still going to get the same solutions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring everything on the left side bring it over to the right side. And so you end up getting zero equaling, and then when you do all of the simplifying of the like terms on the right side, you end up with 2x squared minus 46x minus 280 on that right side. And now notice at this point, you just have a quadratic equation to solve for on the right side. So notice you could take out a two initially, you could factor out a two. And then notice you could factor that remaining quadratic in the brackets. And so the next line, you'd end up with zero equaling two bracket x minus 28, x plus five. That's what it factors into. And so remember, we're solving an equation for x. And so we can find out when do both of those factors equal zero. Notice it's gonna happen at an x value of 28 or at an x value of negative five. But because we're dealing with a word problem, and x is the length of the shortest leg of a triangle, we can't have a negative value. And so we would disregard the x equals negative five solution, x equals 28 is the solution we would work with. And so then we could take that x value of 28, we could plug it into the other expressions to find the dimensions. So the shortest leg is gonna be 28 centimeters. When we plug in 28 for the longest leg expression, the x plus 17, we'd end up with 45 centimeters for the longest leg. And then the hypotenuse, 2x minus three, plugging in 28 for x, we'd end up with 53 centimeters for the hypotenuse. And then you can also check your answer. So you could take the dimensions that you got, plug it into the Pythagoras theorem, make sure that everything holds. And when you do that, 
28 squared plus 45 squared, you would notice that it does indeed equal the 53 squared. Both sides are going to equal 2,809.